Hey guys, this video is going to teach you how to use Quartz's inventory module, the place where you can keep track of everything in your lab, like freezer samples, chemicals, equipment, and much more. There are two great ways to get started with the inventory module. If you already have an inventory list, you can send it to us or use our template to import it. If you don't, no problem. Start using the request module and your inventory will be populated over time. Now here's the inventory. The first step when setting up your inventory is to customize locations and item categories in the Manage Groups area. We recommend doing this before you start adding items so you can make sure Quartzy is customized to your needs. You can find more detailed instructions about these group settings in the Groups video. Just click the link on the screen. As I mentioned before, there are multiple ways to add items to your inventory. The first option is to click Import on the left sidebar and download our template if you want to import your items in bulk from an existing list. Another option is to add items automatically when requests are marked as received in the requests module. This allows for dynamic updating of the inventory over time and is covered in our requests video. Lastly, you can add an item directly from the inventory module. Let's do an example of this one. Click the add item button. Notice that the vendor and catalog number fields aren't required. This makes it great for tracking things created in your lab. For this example, we'll add an item we purchased. Type the name of the vendor who supplied the item. If we host the vendor's catalog, some fields on the form will autocomplete for you. If options don't show up when typing a catalog number, just enter the information you have. Next, categorize your item. General supply will be selected by default, but you can choose any other type that's available in your group. Remember, this is why we recommend that you customize the types beforehand, so you can select the most correct type from the list. Then add any details to the custom field section. I'm going to set the location of this item within my lab, so everyone knows where to find it. For the location, I've put the item in the freezer. There are two sublocations format to choose from when creating these locations in the Manage Groups area, Shelf Rack and Freezer Box. For instance, I could put this item on a rack, which looks like this, or I can put an item in a freezer box, like this box two, which is interactive. We're all set here. So click add another item to add another item, or just click the add item button, and there's the item in my inventory. Once you have items in your inventory, you can search your inventory, set filters, and even customize your view by clicking and dragging columns. If you want to edit any item, just click the item row and the details panel will appear where you can make any changes. When items are running low in the inventory, click the blue request button to communicate that more of the item is needed. This action adds a request to the requests module and the group admin is notified that the item needs to be ordered. So that's your guide to getting started with the inventory module on Quartzy. Check out our online help center to learn more about what you can do with it. And remember, you can send us your files and we'll upload them to your account for you. So your inventory is ready to go for the whole lab. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any questions at all, send an email to support at Our support team is friendly, happy to hear from you and super responsive.